The ESSM, Evolved Sea Sparrow Missile, is a short to medium range missile designed to shoot down missiles, aircraft, helicopters, and drones. It is an evolution of the Sea Sparrow missile. The development of the missile began in 1988 with the requirement that it be compatible with the launching and guidance systems of the Sea Sparrow. In 1995, it was declared the winner of the Hughes contract, and Raytheon joined the development team for the final stages. The first prototypes were tested in 1998, and the final tests were conducted in September 2003. Serial production began in January 2004. The RIM-162 ESSM weighs 280 kg, stands 3.6 meters tall, has a diameter of 25.4 cm, and achieves a maximum speed of over Mach 4. Although it is an evolution of the RIM-7PC Sparrow, it is a completely new missile, utilizing only the seeker head from the original model. Aerodynamically, it resembles the SM-2 and employs thrust vectoring to perform maneuvers of up to 50 g. The solid fuel rocket that propels the missile is new, with a diameter of 25.4 cm, providing a published maximum range of 50 km. It is also equipped with a new autopilot and fragmentation warhead. During the missile's flight phase, there are two guidance modes, depending on the missile model. Home all the way, an illuminating radar tracks the target throughout the flight. The ESSM is guided by the radar signal reflected by the target until it reaches it. This mode requires the illuminating radar to track the target throughout the interception process, limiting the number of simultaneous targets the launching ship can engage. This type of guidance is typically used on ships employing the Sea Sparrow system. Mid-course guidance. In this mode, the missile is guided by commands during the flight phase. The launching ship updates the target's position through a secure data link, using an E or F band link for Aegis-equipped vessels or an I band link for ships equipped with APR or CFAR radars. The final intercept is performed using semi-active radar homing with the reflected energy from the illuminating radar. This mode allows the illuminating radar to be necessary only during the last phase of interception, enabling engagement of multiple targets simultaneously. The ESSM is produced in four versions. Model A, used with negative 41 Malawi and Quacha's launchers on Aegis-equipped ships and employs an E-slash-F band data link. For ESSM missiles can be loaded into each negative 41 Malawi and Quacha's cell. Model B, used with negative 41 Malawi and Quacha's launchers on non-Aegis ships with an I-band data link. Model C, derived from Model B for use with negative 48 Malawi and Quacha's vertical launchers without a data link. Model D, similar to Model B, but for launchers negative 29 Malawi and Quacha's without a data link. The latest version of the ESSM is the Block 2, with the initial version referred to as Block I. The first launch of this new version took place on July 5, 2018. The final tests are currently being conducted for its entry into service. The Block 2, which began development in 2014, utilizes the same propulsion system as Block I but incorporates a new dual-mode seeker with both semi-active and active radar. This allows the missile to acquire the target without illumination from the launching ship. The guidance section increases in diameter, matching the rest of the missile. It also retains the data link system to update the trajectory towards the target with data from the launching ship.